your first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. All right, that warm up happened. Eric talked about it this morning. Chelsea is tracking what's out there. It is uh, definitely cool for end of April, oh, yeah. but at least we're in the 60s right now. Yeah, Gina, and today is going to be the day that we get close to the 70 degree mark. Unfortunately, still well below average. We're supposed to be near 77 degrees for this time of year. But as Gina mentioned, I guess it will do. All of the 80s lovers like me, you're just going to have to wait for quite some time until we see that weather back in the valley. Likely late next week, temperatures will steadily start warming up. Beautiful live look across Huntsville on this Tuesday. This is on our Fly Breeze camera network. We started off the day with more sunshine than clouds, but clouds will continue to filter in as we head throughout your day. But almost the entire day is going to be dry. Next run of rain, that's not going to come until tomorrow morning. Current temperatures on the cooler side this afternoon, upper 50s, low 60s as we continue to be in northerly flow. That's ushering in that cooler, drier air, but you're noticing a few pop up showers filming in or filtering in, should I say, from the west. This is from our next weather maker that will be producing possibly some stronger storms across central Texas. No strong storms in the forecast for us, at least as we head into tomorrow, but we could see some strong storms likely on Thursday. We'll break that down in just a bit, but first, let's get to your Wednesday forecast. It's going to be a wet Wednesday. Showers and possibly a few storms will start to move in by your early morning morning hours. This will likely affect that early morning commute and temperatures will be mild in the low and mid 50s by the early morning hours. By the afternoon, we will see showers and storms steadily taper off. Afternoon highs due to added cloud cover and rain chances only going to be in the low 60s. So again, enjoy the rest of today as we near that 70 degree mark. See some peaks of sunshine because that will be coming to an end likely as we head throughout the next 12 hours. Afternoon highs today, mid upper 60s, few clouds across the valley but still we will see some breaks in that cloud cover. More increasing cloud cover comes later this evening overnight and into your Wednesday. And then again, the next wave of showers and storms likely for that early morning commute. Give yourself some extra time. Roadways likely going to be wet, but we will start to dry out as we head throughout your afternoon tomorrow, and we will stay dry for a good chunk of your Wednesday evening before that next wave of rain comes in for your Thursday. And what's happening this weekend hey, is panoply weekend at Big Spring park from Friday all the way into Sunday. Friday, we should see those showers end early, drying out as we head into your weekend with temperatures staying quite mild, low and mid 70s. They're going to be nice, but we might have to add in additional rain chances as we head into Saturday and Sunday. New model guidance is showing that we will see an additional cold front come late Saturday into Sunday morning, bringing another round of showers and storms, possibly some gusty winds mixed in there. It's not going to be an all day rain, but it could affect some of your weekend plans, including Panoply. Also, the golf tournament that's going to be at the ledges where I know morning meteorologist Eric Burke is going to be. Next week, we'll start trending drier and warmer. The Trash Pandas plays again starting on Tuesday. All right, Chelsea.